Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. In today's video, we're going to take the CDI system we built yesterday and put it on this little uh, China Quad and fire the China Quad up. But just quickly, um, you go to the major auction site and you type in all those words, the major auction site on um, the internet. You type in those words, and what you'll do is you'll get a pit bike kit, which comes with the wire loom, spark coil, spark plug, um, the on-off switch, the whole bit. Then you go to the same major auction site, and you order exactly these words. Make sure it says, particularly DC, CDI, box, 4-pin. The DC and the four pin, very, very important. It costs you eight bucks. You get all that stuff, and for $21, you now have a kit in your hand. What you do with that kit is you plug the CDI in, right? You get rid of the AC one they gave you. You plug the CDI in, right? And then you plug the spark coil in, and it's all color coded, right? black and yellow to black and yellow green to green and there you are um, not all that hard to plug in the spark plug here right we could all do that but let me show you the part that you are going to actually have to take a moment um, and think about having a CDI kit is great having a functional CDI kit is better but if you don't have a way of hooking it to the engine the CDI kit has no idea when to spark as a matter of fact it's not going to spark because it doesn't have a pulse generator so this is beneath here is your flywheel and between taking that cap off and that cap off you can set the timing and out of here comes this major wire wire this comes from your stator and it also comes from your pulse generator. And they were nice enough to assign the color of the wires to match everything right on the pit bike harness. And you have that right here. So these, the yellow and the white, those go toward the voltage regulator and eventually they'll be used to charge your battery. Um, this one here, is used to actually power your stator they're using um, black and white in this case but you know once again this is coming from the engine you get to ignore that too but check out the blue and white you go into the blue and white of the pit bike harness and the green you go into the green on the pit bike harness and once again from the pit bike harness the um, red and black you run it to your 12 volts ground right I picked up the ground off of this little thing right you run it to the case as I did here and there are some extra wires and I apologize for that but I wanted to hook up the jump pack and you can't hook up the jump pack without wires right I'm picking up ground to power the um, CDI unit with this extra wire off the case here and you really want to make sure all these are on there. You got the spark plug wire there. This is kind of not the best way of doing it, but we got gas in. You can see the, um, the filter there. So as near as I could tell, this is all ready to go. So I'm going to put the camera in the tripod and hopefully you guys are going to be able to watch what I'm up to. I got the sun kind of behind me, so I'm thinking that your view is going to look pretty good. Yes, it's on record. So, this engages the starter, and you're going to see me doing little things like setting the choke, turn the battery pack on,
So, there we go. You guys can see it starts and it runs and we're all good here. So, as you look at all the wires that could be hanging on your, your um, bike, whether it's a pit bike or a quad or anything like that, all you really need to do is find the harness that comes off your stator and spend a couple of minutes figuring out what the wires are. Blue and white and green are really the only two you need for the um, DC uh, CDI system. What I like about this version, and I kind of consider this the next gen version, because as you look at the wiring diagram, there's only four pins to worry about, right? Green, ground, that's not all that hard to figure out. The blue and white for the pulse generator. The way you turn this one on and off is by applying and not applying 12 volts. On is when you apply 12 volts, off is when you don't apply it. And then obviously, after you get everything happy to get this pulse or get the spark out of the um, CDI and make it go to your spark plug, you need the, um, the ignition coil. And that's the black and yellow wire that comes out of the harness. So it's that simple. I know this is probably going to drive a few questions and um, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, frequently where, where um, it becomes difficult, um, almost, almost all the stuff from China uses this color coding and so forth. So there's not an issue there. Sometimes there's an issue with... Um, some of some of the um, American-made stuff, though the the engines may or may not be made overseas. Um, for the um, Japanese stuff and the Chinese stuff, they they seem to follow these wire codes. Um, for for once again, some of some of the stuff made uh, here in America, um, they seem they seem to. Um, they seem to change some of the wire colors and um, sometimes I can fi find a diagram for what you guys are, are telling me and I can tell you oh use these color wires and sometimes I cannot right sometimes it becomes more difficult um, mostly here I have Honda stuff except for just a handful of Kawasaki's and a handful of um, of the uh, China quad type stuff and China pit bike, but generally speaking, I have I have mostly Honda stuff, so it gets gets a little harder when I'm asked about um, brand names that I have no experience with, and I have, and I can't get a wiring diagram right if I can't look it up. I I can't help that much, but do ask the question if I can help you. I'll do my best. It might take me a little while to get back to you. Because typically one of these questions, you know, could take me 15 minutes to a half hour to do the research and, and get back to you. So, you know, don't be surprised and don't be surprised. You might have to ask the question more than once before I, um, I could get the time to go out and, and spend that kind of time answering a question. All right, folks, I really want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy each and every day. Bye now, folks.